Well, just came across this article on uh, was it NPR.org, and it's saying with Roe v. Wade on the line, some states take steps to protect the so-called rights of abortion, basically murdering your own child. Uh, let me just read this for you guys. States led by officials supportive of abortion rights are preparing a world for a world without Roe v. Wade. If the 1973 decision that legalized abortion nationwide is overturned by an increasingly conservative Supreme Court, regulation of abortion would fall to the state lawmakers. A scenario seems far more imminent with the death of liberal justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg and President Trump's nomination of conservative judge Amy Coney Barrett. I hoped, quote, I hope to God does that doesn't happen, but we don't want to take a chance that it could happen, New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy said in an interview with NPR on Thursday. Murphy, a Democrat, will unveil legislation alongside other state officials and reproductive rights advocates on Friday that's designed to codify road into state law and expand access to abortion services. Groups on opposite sides of the abortion debate have long had their eyes on state legislators, particularly the confirmation of Justice Brett Kavanaugh, Trump's second appointment to the Supreme Court. He replaced retiring Justice Anthony Kennedy, who often was the swing vote on abortion access, and moved the court to the right. In recent years, several states, including Illinois, New, New, New York, and New York, have passed laws designed to protect abortion rights, regardless of the potential changes to the Supreme Court precedent. At the same time, multiple states with conservative legislators have pushed in, in the other direction, with states, including Alabama and Georgia, passing laws aimed at banning abortion during the first trimester. Laws that could have been blocked from taking effect and are working their way into the uh, through the court system. Sorry, not good at reading on a computer. In addition to guaranteeing guaranteeing the right to an abortion in state law, a spokesman for Murphy says New Jersey proposal would remove restrictions on abortion that advocates say are medically unnecessary. Sure, require most private health insurances to cover abortion, and allow a wider range of health care providers, including phys physician assistants, certified midwives, and other advanced practice nurses, to administer abortions. So basically, a woman can just go around fornicating all she wants, and then basically take someone's tax money to get an abortion. So they scream, "My the feminists!" They scream, "My body, my choice!" as they take your money, your tax money. Sure. Very hypocritical. Uh, Caitlin Wacho Wachowitz, I think that's how you say her name, Vice President of Public Affairs at Planned Parenthood Action Fund of New Jersey, said uh, the goal is to preserve abortion access for both New Jersey residents and potential uh, patients in other states. We do not know that there could be a future where New Jersey is the state where folks may travel to for abortions, she said. Uh, I, we just want to make clear that we're uh, protecting folks in New Jersey and standing up and being a leader as other states are racing to put abortion out of reach for many folks. Opponents of abortion have also been preparing for a fight over the issue in state legislators. In a recent interview with NPR, Marjorie Den Denon Felser of the Susan B. Anthony List, an influential group that has worked to elect Republican U.S. Senators and confirm Trump's conservative ju judicial nominees, said she'd like to see legislation at the state and federal levels restricting abortion. In that interview, after, soon after Ginsburg's death, Denon Felser said she hopes the Supreme Court will make room for state legislators to ban abortion as early as the first trimester. If abortion is, taking, is the taking of a human life, the more ambitious they are, the better, Denon Felser said at the time. Uh, confirmation hearings for Barrett uh, are expected to begin in mid-October, and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell vowed to push her confirmation through as quickly as possible. So, the uh, Democratic Party, you know, the party of, of Satanism, are saying they want abortion, and you got the Republican Party fighting against abortion. But, what does the Bible say about abortion? About shedding innocent blood, that's what it's called, shedding innocent blood. 
Second um, Kings 1 or 21 verse 16 Mo moreover Manasseh shed innocent blood very much till he had filled Jerusalem from one end to the to another besides his sin wherewith he made Judas to sin in doing that which was evil in the sight of the Lord okay shedding innocent blood that's what abortion is shedding innocent blood so when a nation starts to commit abortion they're shedding innocent blood and God doesn't take that lightly when they shed innocent blood so Abortion is one of the many sins of America, and you know the thing about the Republican Party is they claim to be pro-life, but when they controlled the House and the Senate, they didn't do anything to stop abortion. So, you really, I mean, the only time abortion will, will really be banned is when Jesus Christ comes back and sets up his millennial kingdom, and then the government submit to him. But until then, abortion will never be will never be banned, sadly. But all we can do is just, you know, keep preaching the gospel, keep preaching the truth, and just let Jesus Christ take care of it. So, um, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.